Good morning, everyone. Good morning, little Dave. This is going to be my first video of my Eco Trooper 2017. I have the car already about four months. I should have done the video a little sooner, but uh, just thought about it after I saw a bunch of videos that I might be able to do something a little better. Well, it's 7 in the morning, Saturday. I'm going to go ahead and start it up, take it outside and uh, clean it up some. Then I'm going to go ahead and install the front signal marker LED white lights because they have the yellow which I do not like. So for the startup sound I have a muffler delete with a 3 inch pipe and pips. Tinted the back tail lights. Um, can't see them now because it's kind of dark. But you can see it has the uh, three inch uh, tail pipe. I had my rims powder coated. And if you look around the front, you can see what I'm talking about the yellow marker lights which I do not like at all. See how they look? I'm trying to get different angles. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and change these and you'll see the difference when uh, we come back. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, switch these uh, light bulbs. As you can see, I have the uh, lights. I got the premium package. Um, with the red interior front and back I also switched the um, my start button kind of like the GT 350 and I also installed LED map lights also I don't know if any, any of you have seen these before but uh, these are to close the door so that way you don't put fingerprints on the car when you dirty it because of course I want to use my car for car shows. So and I was looking to installing these lights. And I think there's a simpler way. I think if I stick my hand down in here, I might be able to reach them. Let me see where I can put this camera. And we can get this done. Sorry about this, folks my first video so I'm trying my best make sure I get the right one here
I've got the bulb, and I'm just trying to figure out which way to turn it or release it. I don't have to break anything. If you give me a second here, I can get it for you and be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. As a, if you have a cold air intake, like I do, you can squeeze your hand in there. But if you have the original box, there's no way you're gonna get your hand in it. You're gonna have to take the box out. Or as I've seen in YouTube, they come in through the uh, underside, removing these little push pins, turning the wheel in, and sticking your hand in through there. But I figured I'd be lazy and try to do it the easy way. So let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, what a difference. See that? Whew. Can't wait to get the other side done. When you put the signal light, it turns yellow. Alright folks, I'll be right back. Let me complete the other side. I have both of them switched out. Let's see what they look like. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see what the uh, amber lights. They both come back on. Nice, nice. Let me see something here. Now they do say that the inside blinks differently, so I want to see if it does. Let me try this here. It blinks a little faster. But the outside is supposed to blink the same. Now let me just take a quick look at it. Yeah, it blinks normal, as you can see. So. Oh, I like it, I like it. Gives it a different look. Yes, yes, just what I like. Like I said, the only other upgrades I've done, I put a Steeda cover on my brake fluid, just because I had it laying around for my old Mustang, and an MAP cold air intake, which I love. Oh, and on the, uh, the Bomba Racing. And a BOV. It's about the only modifications I've really done to the car. And then tinted all my windows. Front, side, and back. Which in some states are illegal. And some are not. So, I'll leave you with that. And I'll see you next time.